All right. Well, some people have asked um, <clears throat> about checking drones for uh, maturity, uh, specifically sexual maturity. Um, I've got a drone here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do I'm going to pop him, and then it'll show his sexual organs, and then we'll see if we'll be able to uh, go ahead and see the sperm sac and see if um, you know how mature he is, you know, sexually. So. Anyways, hopefully you can see this and see if I can get a hold of him here. Okay, so here he is here. And I've got him kind of by the thorax here. Hopefully you can see that all right. I'm going to step around here real quick and so I can kind of see what I'm doing. So there he is. So I'm going to flip him around. I'm going to hold him by his head here like this. You see his abdomen there. Okay, and squish right there. So I'm going to squeeze the sides. There we go. So those are the sexual organs right there. All right. So you can see they they popped open, and that's what he uses to actually grab the queen in flight. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze the sides here. If we can get, there we go. And there's a sperm sac right there. And that's what he'll actually leave with the queen. All right, so you see that nice color there? That's, that's what we're looking for in a sexual mature, sexually mature drone. All right, well, hope that's informative. Um, the reason this is important, um, I can do this in the spring so that we can see if the drones are ready to mate in your area. So in that way we can uh, know when it's time to start thinking about doing splits and whatnot. So anyways, there we go. Thanks for watching.